I expect this video to be kind of short. I just wanted to do a quick update and see how things are going. And it's also time to change into tray five. So I thought I'd actually film that tonight and show how the changeover process goes. It is also the end of a very long day. And so I did not want to like reapply makeup and do everything for this video. So you get what you get. But let's face it, you're gonna be seeing a close up of my teeth. So there are worse things in the world to come, right? Right, okay. All right, so here we are, update. Um, I had said in the last video how much of a pain that the rubber bands were, and that is the main thing that I wanted to update. After about a week of doing the rubber bands, the pain kind of subsided and just basically went away. They are pretty much just routine and part of my life at this point, and I'm used to putting them in and out. I still put them in by taking the two Invisaligns together, putting them on there, and then putting them in my mouth, as you'll see when I go ahead and do this part of the process. However, a couple times they have popped off and I have found that as the week wears on and I'm longer into that tray, I do have an easier time just hooking it back on and not having to take them all off. The only other real updates is that I would say that most of the pain of any kind is pretty much gone at this point. When I changed into tray four, I took some ibuprofen before bed. I maybe took some ibuprofen once the next day. I did not notice a whole lot of discomfort with tray four. I have learned to kind of file those trays down before I ever put them in my mouth and that seems to be working out. I'm hoping the same is true with tray five here. I'm hoping I can file it and we won't have that problem. I did have a little blister just recently form in the back of my mouth here by my molar. I don't exactly know what that was about but it seems to be healing up now. Um, Still no big deal. At this point, I have now been in Invisalign for two full months and I feel like most of it is pretty routine at this point. I have no idea if more stuff is to come in further visits, which will make that different, but it seems just a part of my life. Uh, because of the rubber bands and the attachments, I feel like I'm, I have to get up from the table and dismiss myself when I'm out in public. I cannot just like bleh, pull them all out of my mouth. And I'm sitting at a table. It's pretty gross. I don't think there's a whole lot more to say. I really just wanted to update and say here we are at this two month point and and really any sort of complaints I had at the beginning most of them seem to have dissipated at this point. I expect a few little bumps and stuff with changing trays and maybe a few little cuts and stuff but I think we've got it fairly down and I think that I maybe have it under control and then I'm kind of used to it. So I'm going to do a close-up of my teeth as they are right now before I put in this other tray. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you how that whole process works. That's kind of the moment of truth. I always feel like, you know, that I did not mess up the previous two weeks and that it goes in and everything's good. But let me show you the close-up of my teeth without the Invisalign in. It is the end of the night. I've already done, gone through the process of brushing them and doing the mouthwash and everything that I would do at the end of the night. So hopefully they're as clean as they're going to get. If you see some food particles in there, I'm sorry. Okay, my battery dying crud. Okay, I'm not sure where I just cut off at. I actually had to go charge my camera because I apparently totally forgot to charge it. So I'm going to do things a little quicker than I had originally intended and hope the battery lasts with the little bit of charge that I just put on it. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to do the close-up and then I'm going to do this change over here and hopefully everything will last through that. Okay, so here's the close-up. Fair warning, my teeth are coming right at your face. Okay, I don't know if this is Krishna. This is Krishna, right? Alright, I'm having trouble with blurriness here. I guess we're gonna have to do here. So here we are. It's a nightmare. Even the camera thinks it's a nightmare. It won't focus on it. Okay, I hope that turned out. I was having trouble with the camera being blurry on my teeth. I don't usually have that trouble. That's not usually a problem. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because the battery's low. I don't know. So when you get your other bags, they are sealed. I've already taken them out only because, like I said, the battery was running low and I wanted to go ahead and file these. 
All I do is I get an emery board and I actually just go across mostly the inside. The outside doesn't seem to be so much a problem, but this inside portion here, I will file across those. Um, I used to try to just file the part where it hurt and I got so frustrated with trying to find the space that now just before I put them in, I just lightly file across the whole thing and then if I get up the next morning and there's a space that hurts specifically, I will probably just do it again. Um, it seemed to work really well last time and I didn't end up with like that cut under my tongue that I had gotten with the first couple trays. So I've already done that, hopefully that works. I've also already gotten out my rubber bands and I just realized I don't have my glasses back on because I can't see everything because it's all blurry. So I got out my rubber bands already um, and I'm going to show you how I put those on because I mentioned that I don't put them on while they're in my mouth. So what I do is I take the trays and I line them up how they're going to be on my teeth. And I go ahead and hook the rubber bands on one at a time that way. So I hook them on just like that. Now I have had trouble with this one and you probably won't be able to see it, but it gets hooked around the attachment. I have to be careful about that because once I put that in, the attachment kind of pushes out and the rubber band actually stays hooked on it. So I have to watch for that at this point. But I've gotten it down and really I do it in a couple of seconds. So it kind of forms this little contraption here almost with the rubber bands on it and I put it in. I will push it in slightly to the top but I won't fully clip it into the top until I get the bottom clipped in because the bottom is the hardest part. This will be the hardest go round because I am fully changing them over. So huh, let's see how that works. I am going to move the camera so that I can look in the mirror when I'm doing it and you can watch me do it. All right, so it's now the moment of truth. They fit in my mouth. Here we go. Ah. Ah. I make funny noises, right? Okay, truth be told, that was a whole lot easier than I expected because usually I'm the past ones when I put that bottom in, I am like forcing it down on there. Um, I was actually quite surprised when it clicked like it did. Apparently this pair is going to give me a really bad lisp at first. That bottom is crazy tight, but that's been a fairly normal process. Um, I've really not had this bad of a lisp putting them in for some reason right away. That's weird actually. But yeah, I mean it's in. It definitely is tighter than the pair I had in there before. Something's poking me in the back. I think there is a spot in the back that I will probably have to file down in the morning. Honestly, I will probably just leave it on there at this point to give it a little time to kind of stretch and push and stuff so that it will maybe splay out just a little bit and I can do it easier. I can tell that I'm going to be taking some handy dandy pro uh, ibuprofen tonight to deal with this. But yeah. Well, so there you have it. That is an Invisalign change that went a little smoother than I anticipated this time. That's good. That means I did a good job of wearing the other ones at this point. It is tight, but I actually not sure it's even as tight as the second one felt that first time I put it in. So they say the best thing to do is put these in right before you go to bed. That way you kind of have the longest period of time before you need to take them out again. So let me do a quick close up with these in my mouth. The teeth are coming at you again. Fair warning, here they come. Right at your face, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Here they are, beauties. I do think they're looking better, slightly. So that's really it for this update. I did want to let you guys know that as of this point, between individual trays, I'm really not seeing a big difference from one tray, tray to the next. Like I can't hold them up next to each other and specifically see what the change is. I do think that the teeth are looking slightly better. I noticed in a picture that I took recently at an event that um, my teeth seemed a lot more noticeable, which as I said before, noticeable when they're still kind of a whole lot crooked 
is not necessarily the best thing but I did notice that they kind of stand out and looked polished and stuff and I'm still excited to see how they look in the long run because of that. So my that battery is dying once again. I did not anticipate well for this one. I did not plan well but I didn't want to miss the actual changeover. So I thank you for joining me. Um, I will see you. It will probably be another four to six weeks at this point before I do another update. I'd love it if you leave a comment below. If you have any questions, please be sure to ask them. I will either do my best to answer them or try to point you to a source that can answer them. Um, also, I would love it if you subscribe and keep with this update. It's supposed to be a two-year journey, so I'd love it if people would join me, especially if you're doing Invisalign too, and maybe we can back and forth a little bit and support each other. Thanks for joining me. Bye.